Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Lexi and today we're doing another pick a card. Before I get into the video, I want to talk about this beautiful box of roses that Rose of Forever New York have sent me. Um, I am very, very careful, as you guys know, with what I promote or what I put on my channel just because um, I'm just super super picky but you guys know how much i love rose forever new york and they've sent me another bouquet of flowers and they've given me a discount code for you guys to use if you want to get your own um bouquet just in time for easter um if you hear little noises in the background that is luna joining in she likes the roses um but just to talk a little bit about it so rose forever new york is a new york based rose brand they launched in 2019 and they designed these rose boxes with natural roses that can last up to a year um and they are preserved with natural oils to preserve the roses and the bouquets are handcrafted by professional flower artisans and all the materials they use um for the boxes are vegan like the pink suede and the black suede one that i have there on my dressing table um all of them are vegan and they're created through a natural process of pigmentation to keep them the shade that they are and they're also allergen free and if you head to that website which i will have the link to the website in my description box there are all different types of shades um different types of boxes um different colors i chose yellow because of course it's easter and i wanted to you know go with that theme um but there's all different types and if you use my code alexia20 you can get 20 dollars off um i'll have the code in my description box and the link to the website as well for you guys to check them out um but you guys know how much i love these um roses i wouldn't promote them otherwise um this is my third batch they really do last a really long time they stay looking really really beautiful um the ones that i had i think it was like back in like october time they're still you know looking as beautiful as the day that i got them and i just want to shout out and say thank you to rose forever new york for sending me this bouquet and like i said the link to the website and the code is in the description box if you want to check it out so now we're gonna get into the video and because it's approaching easter i wanted to take a look at what is basically going through a rebirth in your energy field so taking a look at the energies and seeing what area of your life is going through a transformation is going through a rebirth going through an expansion um over the next couple of months so i have three crystals uh for you guys to choose from I want to just say before I begin the reading, I'm filming a lot earlier in the morning than usual, which is usually when my cats are <laughs> running around. So apologies for any noise um, in the background. But yeah, we have pile number one, which is the Bumblebee Jasper. Pile number two, which is the Ocean Jasper. And pile number three, which is the Serpentine, Serpentine Crystal. So see which crystal you are drawn to. The timestamps are going to be in the description box as usual and I will see you guys at your timestamps. Hey pal one, welcome to your reading. So we are taking a look at what area of your life are you going through a rebirth right now? So you guys chose the Bumblebee Jasper. I'm going to start with these cards and then we'll move into your oracle cards. Um, by the way, I didn't long wake up so my throat's a little bit croaky. Nothing wrong with me. Um, my throat's just usually a bit croaky in the morning. It should settle within like about half an hour. Um, I just thought I'd get that out there just in case anyone thought I was sick. Um, pile number one, please, spirit guides. Pile number one, tap me into the collective of my pile number ones. Tap me, oh goodness, your card didn't want to wait. Wait, what just fell? Okay, two cards just fell together and shot out before I even asked the question. And that was safe travel, which I will put there. And that was focus, which I'm gonna put there, okay. Um, two more cards, please, for it, guys. What area of my pile number one's lives, the Bumblebee Jasper pile, what area of my pile number one's lives are going through a rebirth? What area? <clears throat> oh. Oh, your cards are 
leaping out. Pile number one, please, Spirit Guides. What area of my pile number one's lives um, are going through a rebirth? We have receptivity. And one more card, please, Spirit Guides. One more card. What area of my pile number one's lives are going through a rebirth right now? Manifestation. Okay, let me move that over a bit. The back of the deck, you have action. Okay. So straight away, I want to say something's coming into fruition that I feel like you set in stone a while ago. It could even be something that you completely forgot about, or it's just something that um, you almost kind of like gave up on. Um, how do I, I? I don't even feel like this is something you would have given up on. It, it, this feels like there's something that you've been working towards for some time, and it's like I'm being shown somebody like with a hammer going down into the mines like looking for gold and it's like I'm mining and I'm mining and I'm mining and then all of a sudden I see that like splint of gold and I pull it and a bunch of gold falls out that's what I'm being shown but what's interesting about that is it's almost like a change in perception or let me try something differently like that's the way that I'm being made to feel um one thing that I will say maybe throughout your earlier life or like just an energy you guys have been in for a while there's almost this feeling of like restriction um but it almost feels like self-taught like i've got to like restrict myself or i can't have this this or this or i've got to like be the, the good boy the good girl like i've got to, i can't ask and speak up i can't um like i've just got to walk this road um like i'm being shown everybody in a race and everybody having these tools and it's like no it's got to be like fair is fair like i've got to keep walking you know the way that i am and then people have all these tools and they're like using a pogo stick to get what they need to or somebody has like wings on that you know back and they're like flying there and you're like no i just didn't have those but like there's this feeling of like well why don't i ask for them then why don't i ask for them then and then all of a sudden these wings grow or this like pogo stick comes and you're able to shoot forward and that's i feel what bringing in this like gold falling out of this mine which is quite interesting because with the receptivity card i'm thinking of you guys tapping into that kind of like receiving state and falling back but it's almost like requests being made like I, I hope that makes sense because i just see you trying something different it's like i see a plate in front of you and it's like i have to save the best to last i have to save the best to last like i have all these foods on my plate but like let's just say you have like eggs bacon whatever and it's like bacon's my favorite i need to save the bacon to last but then every time you'd get to that bacon you'd be full anyway you couldn't even enjoy it properly and then i see you just kind of sitting there thinking why do i always save the bacon to last if it's my favorite why am i even restricting myself why don't i just eat it now so then it's like something switches and then i see you eating the bacon first so it's like i'm enjoying it and then that feeling of abundance like has you um see how do i make it make sense it's like oh actually i can have this and i can have that and your brain switches and i feel like that's what brings this gold mine in you know what i mean whereas before you would have been in that state of mind of like just gotta keep i mean you're like hi ho hi ho like the um seven dwarfs is like i'm like hitting the the mine and because i have to i just have to like keep working like i have to keep going and going but there's this feeling of like no we can try it a different way um and that's what i see happening over the next couple of months that brings it, it's not like when i want to say like manifestation for some of you guys it could just be like bringing you know that car that you want into that house but for you guys it's more so like either a state of mind or like a lifestyle or something that you wanted to achieve or something that you wanted to align with and i feel like you've been working towards it and i feel like i see you getting like splints of gold pure and there and reaching where you want to head to like here and there um but it's almost like i'm not getting the full thing like i'm not getting the full thing and it's like a, i almost feel like a stretch um i'm being trying to roll with like a really long stretch and it's like i'm walking and walking and walking and walking um and it's just like i'm getting tired um, and I'm getting these little bits of splints of gold, so I know I'm on the right path, but I just keep feeling like I keep walking, like I'm getting there, but I'm not fully there. And then I just see you taking a detour, which takes you there. You know in Super Mario, where you go underneath there, um, you have like the underground tunnels to get you those gold stars, which you wouldn't be able to see on the above, um, on the above trail, if that makes sense. 
that's what I see you guys doing and I feel like the reason that I'm not being shown like a specific avenue I was gonna say pacific um the reason I'm not being shown a specific avenue is because I feel like whatever this mindset shift is I feel like it's gonna trickle into every area of your life which is why I wasn't being shown like one single manifestation it's more so tapping into a state of abundance or tapping it into like tapping into a state of like I can have or I have um instead of like I have to wait I have to pay my dues like I have because I feel like you've paid your dues I feel like you are somebody that's always like working hard anyway I feel like you're somebody that's always disciplined but there's this feeling of like discipline into the point where it's almost like I see somebody behind you which could be like seeds planted from somebody else or like you've got to work 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 and you can't ask for this and you can't ask for that and you've just got to get on with it but I just see that switch where it's like well what if I do ask for x y and z I can make it easier to get there or what if I do ask for blah 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 like that's what I'm being shown um yeah that's what I'm being shown for you guys it's like what if I do ask for that car like help towards that car or what if I do ask for this and it, I don't mean just asking people around you I mean asking spirit asking the universe asking you know and even like enchanting with like maybe your own tools psychically like doing spells doing um doing your own like rituals to bring something in I just see you tapping into like cheat codes but in a way of like because I, I don't know why some of you guys may have a lot of like satin in your chart. There's like a level of like, I've got to do things the right way. But you know how sometimes they'll put video games out and they purposefully put cheat codes out like Easter eggs for you to find them and advance in an area. And it's not like cheating the game necessarily because the company is like putting them out. Like I used to, um, I used to play Animal Crossing and I didn't have the internet much growing up so I didn't know any of these cheat codes and I would play and I would just play by the rules like I would just do whatever and then I, I remember going to my friend's house and she was like yeah where every 30 minutes like a balloon comes over the town and you can hit it and presents fall and this happens and if you hit a rock money comes out and I was like I didn't know these things you know what I mean like I didn't know I was just playing it the way I saw it I didn't know that there were all these cheats that were like known by like Nintendo to advance in that game um so there's a reference there of like these cheat codes being available but there was just like there was something in your brain like and I feel like it's something that you would have learned while young um that would have been like you've got to like save the best to last you've got to restrict this is just the way it is and I see you breaking free of that and I don't think there's anything you necessarily have to do I feel like work that you've been doing internally um is causing you to kind of like bounce out of that web I'm literally being shown um I'm being shown like a plastic film around me and I'm like breaking free. I guess kind of like a butterfly coming out of the cocoon. It's like I'm breaking free of that projection. I'm breaking free of that seed being planted. Like, yes, I need to work hard. Yes, I need to put energy towards it. But I've been doing that. And there are little things that can get me ahead um, that are okay to use, if that makes sense. So that's what I see. And that's what I see where I see the expansion. Um, is there any particular areas, spirit guides, spirit guides that are going to benefit? Um... <clears throat> I keep wanting to click my fingers like things coming in quicker for you uh because I'm I'm being taken especially with the manifestation card and all of the yellow I'm, I'm you guys choosing the bumblebee jasper as well I see I'm being taken to the solar plexus and it's literally about like I see you because this is something you've already been aligning with and that is knowing my worth knowing what I deserve I know what energy I put into things I know my price like I know what I deserve and what I should be having like I know this I feel like you've been taking time to tap into that so I see that um almost expanding and it's where that part of you that that shadow part of you that was like no we've got to keep going it's not enough I see that part of you kind of like learning like no I'm putting in enough effort and I see um because i'm being shown like dominoes but it's almost like little things that you're doing are trickling into other areas but i see you feeling very very confident and very sure in yourself so whatever it is that you're drawing in energetically i see it coming to you a lot quicker if some of you guys have been wanting to pass a driving test or get a new car i see that really really strongly because i'm being shown somebody driving a car so that's one big thing that i'm being shown um I don't know if anybody has a business in like catering or making cakes or anything like that but I'm seeing somebody sitting in that creating cakes like the icing and things like that um so I, I keep hearing this like clicking of the fingers so I see something there or even if, if you just have a business in general that you've been like working towards I see that coming in a lot faster but it's like I'm, I'm seeing you using cheat codes in, but 
in the good way because <laughs> i feel like cheat codes to you guys is like oh i don't know about that but it's not it's like that tools for you to use like it's a it's a lever for you to jump onto um and i see you using that and bringing in abundance that way uh but there's it feels more physical that's what i want to say i don't i feel like you guys have had a lot of expansion inwardly um in regards to like you tapping into your depths in regards to maybe like the spiritual side this feels more physical it feels like it's that heightened like awareness it's almost expanding into the physical and i see my the way i'm being made to like sh how it's being shown it's like milestones i don't know why i keep being shown super mario but you know when you get to the end of the game and you like like whatever level you're on or whatever part of what world you're on level whatever and you like when you end it you like jump onto the flag and you like slide down it and you like pass that bit there's something like that like i see over the next i want to say two years i see like rapid movement in terms of like collecting coins again like super mario it's like collecting coins i don't know if some have been playing super mario a lot lately but that's how it's coming through i see you collecting coins but in the sense of like creating abundance creating physical abundance like oh i just i just passed my test or i just put that deposit down for my home or i just bought my home or i just made this much with my business it, it feels very physical and the fact that super mario and the coins are coming through it's making me think of the pentacles and just financial abundance um and just achieving a lot of goals um here in the physical I see a lot like that I can put in my hand you know what I mean like I just got that diploma it's in my hand I just passed my test it's in my hand I just bought all new furniture for my home it's like in my hand and it's things you would have wanted for a while but it's like it's here um because of that boom cheat code and I when I'm being I'm trying to tap into like a quote-unquote cheat code but I almost feel like it's something that it, it's something that's going to awaken within you and i think it's meant to but for a lot of you guys it's like well why don't i just ask for that or why don't i try this out or like everyone's doing this why don't i just try to do that or why don't i um align with that or why don't i use my spiritual gifts to usher that forward why don't i blend them together why have i not been doing that why have i always been playing by the rules like that why don't i try something different that's what i see in terms of like the cheat code um but i do see a lot of like physical abundance and it's things you wanted to achieve for a while pile number one please spirit guides pile number one please spirit guides what area of my pile number one's lives is going through a rebirth because the thing is when you tap into that energy that then roots into your subconscious when no matter where you look you see abundance you know so it's like i can i can climb up that mountain i can you know i want to go on a vacation next year i can definitely do that i can do that you know what i mean i can um i want to buy a new home next year i can do that like i i can do that let me just move a few things around i can do it it's like a seed that plants where it's like i can i can I can you know um whereas before it's like oh i don't know i'm gonna have to do this and this and this and this and this and yes you've got to make moves but there's a reference of like adding that splitter of like i can do it um pile number pile oh let me grab your card fell <clears throat> far away from me oh, what have we got trust okay so we have dia trust Approach the situation with a light heart. That's not even focused. Hang on. Pile number. Um, oh, we've got two. We have the honeybee. Divine, divine, <laughs> divine feminine. You are being called on to rise. You are being called on to rise. Okay, and one more card. What have we got? The wolf heart medicine. Let go of that which does not serve your highest good. Okay. Okay. Um, the dear card. Trust. Approach the situation with a light heart. Yeah, I see it in the past, like, again, and it's a seed being planted, and it's like, this is feeling like I re I, I can't do it or I know that I'm going to be like 10 steps behind everyone else so I feel like I'm going to be out of the loop from everyone else or everybody else is going to have it's reminded me of like the Hunger Games when Katniss goes into the ar arena and all the other districts have like these like 
tools or whatever and they had money and they had like all that back in and Katniss is from one of the more poor districts but like what Katniss has is she knows how to hunt she knows how to use a bow and arrow she has all of these things and she's going into that arena think well I'm not like you know I'm definitely not one in here there's these people that have been trained for this their whole lives and I'm not but what she then does is she uses those tools you know what I mean in the games and she ends up winning you know and I'm not saying you're going into the Hunger Games but it's that type of vibe it's like tapping it into that light the hearted energy of like what do I have and use in that because there's something about you already possessing a cheat code to get you where you need to go and it's like use that that's why you have it like you literally have that for a reason um that's what I'm being shown uh there and I also am being told to take a look at where Jupiter is in your chart what house it's in what sign it, it is because I feel like there's a reference there of like your cheat code like um there's a reference there in regards to like breadcrumbs to your cheat code if that means if that makes sense like I'm being shown like decoding that um I can do this I can do that I have this up my sleeve I can do that you know because Jupiter is like that that trick we have up our sleeve that that piece of luck that we have up our sleeve that um you know that one that kind of saves the day like in our possession that we didn't even realize we had that's what jupiter can act like so there's, there's a reference there of looking into your natal chart and seeing where jupiter is um what house what sign um and what aspects of that because i feel like that would really help you you guys as well um and then we have honey Reed, divine feminine you are being called on to rise this there's, there's a switch that's happening where you're like this is mine i'm gonna have this this is mine i don't understand i don't 100 percent know exactly how it's gonna come in but it's mine like and I'm gonna get that and I'm just gonna do this now or I'm gonna d you know how sometimes like I, I see people and they want to start like a YouTube or a TikTok or something like that and they're like oh but I need the camera and I need all the equipment and it's like they prolong it and it's like you really don't like you can get that on the way like if you wait for everything to be perfect before you make the shift you're gonna be waiting forever because nothing's ever gonna be perfect when I started my channel I had my phone <laughs> I had my phone on um like a little stand um in my room and I had no microphone and I just went with it you know and one day I was like I'm just gonna post I'm just gonna do it I've been wanting to do it for a while I was like I'm just gonna do it so there's a reference there of you guys just being like you know what? I'm just gonna do it I'm just gonna there's a lot of there's a lot of this I feel life sort of speed up you know um and then wolf heart medicine let go of that which does not serve your highest good Ooh, I have an alarm going off sorry guys um <clears throat> let go of that which does not serve your highest good see the mountains in the background it's like the, the only way i can describe it it's like i'm going through a tunnel and i'm tired and i'm like oh everything's just draining me i've been going through this tunnel for such a long time i'm like crawling through it at this point and i'm like oh like i'm going and i'm going i'm going i'm going and then it's like hang on a minute why don't i just break out the top and then i like bounce through the top like I jump through the top um, and I'm like, oh, why didn't I just do that in the first place? Why did I just keep crawling along the floor? There's, there's something there, but it's like a click that's kind of being held for me a little bit because it's something you're going to have an aha moment with. But that's what I see um, happening. And I also feel like it's going to help you let go. Um... It's like I'm being shown that seed and it's like a long vine and I'm like untangling from that seed that was planted in my brain of like I can't have this and I've got to work extra hard and nothing I'm doing is enough. Like it's untangling me from that, you know, I hope that makes sense. Um, But yeah, I see life speeding up for you 100%. I see an aha moment coming very soon if it hasn't even happened already. Um, <clears throat> I see... A lot of just physical things. I see you achieving things. I see you passing things. I see you putting like down payments and purchasing things. It feels very financial in the physical. I'm I'm getting this. I've got this contract. Like I've got this. That's how it feels. And I feel like it's coming from work that you've done, connected to your solar plexus and your own worth, and what you the effort that you put into everything that you've done i feel like you know you you're learning <clears throat> sorry guys my throat is really croaky today you're learning and you know and you're understanding on a deeper level what you bring to the table you're understanding your worth and knowing your worth which is causing you to let go of that seed that was planted it's like i already do enough 
and that's what's bringing in that that speed up you know that that speed up and i see things just quick like lots of clicky fingers you know um so that's what i have for you pal number one i really hope that you enjoyed your reading hit the thumbs up and comment down below if you did sending you guys all of my love i hope you have a beautiful morning afternoon evening whenever you're watching and hopefully i'll see you guys in my next video so thank you guys for watching hey pal two welcome to your reading so we are taking a look at what area of your life are you going through a rebirth a transformation in over the next couple of months so you guys chose the ocean jasper i'm going to start with this deck and then we're going to move on to your oracle card so let's get in so pile number two please spirit guides pile number two what area of my pile number two's lives are going through a rebirth over the next couple of months what area of pile number two's lives are going through a rebirth it's something you've got been getting prepared inside for that's one thing that i'm being told we have empowerment what area we have water What area of my pile number two's lives are going through a rebirth, please, Spirit Guides? We have manifestation. One more card, please, Spirit Guides. What area of my pile number two's lives are going through an expansion? We have safe travel as well. In the back of the deck, you guys have space clearing. Okay. Okay, pile number two. What area of my pile number two's lives are going through an expansion? So I keep being shown like a flood. That's the way I'm, um, it's being described to me. When I was opening up and I was being told you were getting prepared inside, the reason I said that is because in my mind's eye, as I was shuffling the cards, I was being shown the two of cups. And I was being shown like the two cups, um... You know what in the two of cups card where there's like one person and another person and they're like handing the cup to each other like the full cup to each other i was being shown that um but it's almost like i think of it like a mirror and a butterfly it's like one part of my energy was being filled up to um transform into the other side like let's just say the divine feminine was being filled up to balance with the divine masculine so there was a feeling of you it was almost like I was topping up my body or topping up my energy field to be in the same frequency as something that's coming in. Um, as I do feel over the next couple of months, what I am picking up on, I feel like you're, how do I make it make sense? My heart chakra feels like it's going through a flood. Keep being taken to your heart chakra and it's like I'm being shown, imagine it like a glass heart as if it's like a vase or something and then water comes in and then the water like you know comes in like a tidal wave and it's going all around this glass hat and it's like filling it up filling it up filling it up that's what i'm being shown in the sense that i see a lot of topped up energies in your energy field but specifically your heart chakra where i feel like there's going to be a lot of growth in that area of your life in terms of how you view love how you view connections with other people and your capacity to really tap into your heart space and heart chakra in the way that you do because i feel like you guys in particular you've probably done a lot of healing work in regards to your heart space in clearing maybe old wounds karmic wounds with other people and i don't really see any I, I don't see many attachments necessarily to your heart space um normally i'll see like energies or like holes or like gaps or like cords i don't necessarily see that i see little bits of debris but that's all that's really coming through is debris and i just feel over the next couple of months i see an expansion in your heart chakra i see you tapping into the energies of love even if you're in a relationship i just see you feeling feelings maybe in a way that you haven't felt before because i feel like it's more connected to the god source it's more connected to the universe and that universal energy of love which is just unconditional love um and i always say love is a frequency not necessarily a feeling and i see you really embodying that and tapping into that and i see a lot of like the way it's being made to feel with me it's almost like letting go like i see there's someone that you might have even had um like an attachment to in the past where there would have been wounds there where you didn't like this person but it's almost like you've cleared and worked through that and there's like an awareness coming of like 
this was the role I played, this was the role that you played, like, either, neither of us were ready, or this happened, or this happened, and I see you kind of, like, letting go of that, and seeing that person in a different light, and it's almost in, like, a very carefree, light-hearted way, where it's, like, I'm ready to let this go, um, but don't force that, that's, like, that, that's gonna come naturally, I just see that happening with someone specific, um, it could even be, like, a family member, or something like that, that's just what I'm being shown of you, it, it's almost like I'm opening up, like I'm flowering in regards to my heart space. And then it's affecting the romantic side because I see you feeling very romantic, feeling very open, feeling very loving. It's like those energies are being nurtured. And the reason that they're, um, they're activating and they're expanding in that way is because I almost feel like you're aligning with someone um, or someone that's meant to come in um, in terms of like the next person that comes in for you romantically if you are single. If you are already in a relationship, um, I just see new levels of that relationship happening it's like a new layer like it's like a flowering again um I see you and this person kind of like growing in a different direction than in, in a good way like not in a bad way in a way that um there's more love shared or there's more advancements made or you're able to accelerate maybe even spiritually to a different level but if you are single I just see you really tapping into even signs that maybe you haven't even seen before maybe because there was wounds covering it so you weren't able to feel those romantic feelings or you weren't able to feel that depth of like what you could feel for somebody else because on top of it were wounds or that there was like stagnant energies or there was karmic patterns that you had to work through but they're gone and I just see over the next couple of months this flood this flush of the heart space where we're expanding and the roots are going all the way down to the ground so that we can grow and I feel like that's what's going to take you to somewhat like bring you to someone new or an advancement an, an advancement in a connection you've already had but for a lot of you guys that are single it's like um bringing you to someone new that you're meant to meet so I don't feel like in the next couple of months you're going to meet someone I feel like you're tapping into that energy and I see you feeling very light and very open and I feel like that's when that um that person comes in you know um that's what I'm seeing for you guys so I do feel like I'm not gonna lie when we go through an expansion like that there may sometimes be feelings that do crop up feelings of like imposter syndrome feelings of like wounds um pains and you know connected to connections we've had in the past or connections with our you know family members or our parents and you may have even already been feeling this especially like over the last couple of months coming towards the end of like you know the astrological year so like capricorn season aquarius season um pisces season you may have been feeling um feelings of like maybe abandonment or hurt or frustration they were like the last dregs think of it like when we put our dishes in a dishwasher and that water comes in it's like it doesn't just straight away clean the plates like it goes round and round and it squirts over the plates until all the gunk is off that's what's been happening and i feel like that's been happening for the past couple of months um it may even be happening right now because the way i'm being made to feel in my heart space it's like a oof like it's it's like um you know when you purge something really heavy and then for the next couple of days you have that like dull feeling in the heart space and it's just like oh like it's not a good feeling it's just like oh like I feel that almost I feel like that's the energy you might be in right now if you've been thinking back to people from the past or thinking of hurtful connections or things that may have hurt you but it's it's like these little splinters that's where I was being shown the debris and I see you purging clear in that for you to tap into that very carefree energy and I just see over the um next couple of months like I feel like I'm looking at love in a different way I feel like that but it's, it feels expansive and I'm like tapping into those feelings and I'm feeling romantic and I'm thinking of these things and it's like I'm looking at it differently and it's like all that's coming through um and that's where I'm being shown the two of cups like I'm aligning with someone then that's meant to come in that's what I'm being shown um and that's where we have this card at the back of the deck because you've been clearing and making space for it that's where we have the water card there because water cleanses it flushes out um and yeah I feel like y'all it's kind of like I guess I, I don't want to say jump into another timeline because I feel like that's a done deal like that has already happened for the purging to take place whenever we jump timelines or we quantum leap things come up from our old life like from our subconscious it's like oh this doesn't resonate anymore gotta get rid of this i feel like you've kind of done that so i don't want to say the word quantum jump for you guys a quantum leap because it's not what it is i feel like you've already done that it's more so rooting into um you know these feelings that are now growing and, and expanding within you because of work you've already done 
you know what I mean? And these feelings that you're having, they're like little splints of debris. But even if they're like a little bit painful right now, if you think about it, it's like these were like what was right down at the bottom, repressed in the subconscious. They're up, they're out. But to touch them, it's like, oof, oof, oof. Like it's like these little splints that I just see you taking care of. And then over the next couple of months, that expansion there. But I feel like that's the energy you're stepping into. And I do see if you are single um, over the next couple of months, I see you being very open to like speaking to new people, going on dates trying out things it's in a very light way um and it's like a switch that happens you know um but it's it's in a very light way but i do see somebody coming then later on when i say later on i don't mean like in five years um but i feel like that you're aligning with an energy where this person's coming in um but i just don't see anything maybe for some of you but just the next two months i don't see like somebody necessarily coming in this is luna this is my loony and she has little bits on her because she goes in all the little holes in my house and and just has a little bit of a nose. So that's why she has them on her and she's playing with Pile Freeze Crystal. Um, but yeah, that's what I see. I, f I see you getting like prepared inside on a hearty level. I really hope that makes sense. Like the analogies I used made sense. Are you playing with Pile Freeze Crystal? Do you like that crystal? Yeah? Do you like it? Pile number two, please, spirit guides. Pile number two. Pile number two, please, spirit guides. What area of my pile number two's lives are going through an expansion? What area of my pile number two's lives are going through an expansion right now? What areas of my pile number two's lives are going through a rebirth? My pile number twos, please. Pile number two. Okay. We have the Koi Carp Abundance. Move with the flow of abundance around and through you. You can't have that, baby. Pile number two, please, spirit guides. Let me put that there. I'll, um, you'll see the cards in a sec. <laughs> Pile number two, please, spirit guides. Pile number two. Pile number two, please, spirit guides. Pile number two. What area of my pile number two's lives are going through? An expansion what do we have here we have the horse give yourself the space and freedom to express your creativity okay and one more card please spirit guides what area of my pile number two's lives are going through an expansion oh i love how luna just like walk in make a mess leave love that for her <laughs> um we have horse, free spirit, and then rabbit, sensitive soul, strengthen your boundaries and cut cords. Okay. There we go. Um, Koi Cup, move with the flow of abundance around and through you. When we tap into a new frequency and something, because it's, it's kind of, I guess, like a spiritual upgrade, but it's of the heart, what you're going to be going through. When we go through a spiritual upgrade, it's more the crown, the third eye, we get like all of these downloads, we get, you can see like geometric shapes, our, our um, sleep patterns change, like the, there's a lot that shifts. When we go through that kind of upgrade in the heart space, it almost feels like the only way I can describe it, like a pipe going through the heart, um, going through the heart space, going through the emotional center. And it, it almost feels like out of nowhere, these feelings have just come up. Or it's I feel like I've regressed. A lot of people feel like that when they go through this expansion of the heart. It's like, I feel like I've regressed backwards. I feel like I'm crying over things that I thought I healed a really long time ago. But it's like that pumping, that clearing, that flushing. Um and we because we're feeling those feelings we're not looking at it from the perspective of wow i'm really growing here like i'm really evolving here like i'm really like looking at these things in the eye and i'm really transforming and the new energy that's coming in you know that's taking place um which is why these feelings are coming up like that's insane like i, I can't believe like my heart chakra is expanding like that and you know the way that i look at love is expanding like that and i'm having these top ups i can't believe it we don't think of that because these feelings are painful we don't see actually what's happening but that's where i'm being shown you might not feel like it in this second 
but there's such an expansion happening in the heart space which is literally tailoring your frequency to see love everywhere too because it's not just like in regards to a connection it's like seeing that love and seeing your friends deeper and the love that you have for your friends or your family members or even just out in life like i said love is a frequency and we see love everywhere if we choose to see it and i just see you tapping into that more and in tapping into that love frequency more and seeing love out in the world i see you tapping into abundance more you know what i mean and allowing that to flow so i feel like it's going to trickle into other areas of your life but i feel like if we're going to give it like a physical like what's happening the rebirth it's to do with connections and someone coming in um free spirit give yourself the space and freedom to express your creativity yeah it, there's a light a hearted approach as well and feel to connections where in the past you may have looked at connections through your own internal wounds or through um you know some of you guys may have been like anxiously attached so you may have been like avoidant and you've been doing the work to clear that so now it's like these connections are coming in and you're just very open it's like i'm not take you know i don't want to take this specifically too seriously like i just want to enjoy my time i'll get to know this person like it doesn't matter where it goes let me just be in the moment there's no fear of like what if they reject me or what if they you know don't want to talk to me in like a week or two it's not that it's like we're just flowing and it's giving you that leeway i feel like you you're looking at connections a lot differently um and it, it feels very open you know there's no wounds that are driving me you know to feel triggered in regards to x y and z because it's like i've purged and cleared that or there's no like i see sometimes you look at connections and you're like my abandonment wound is going to come up here or this is going to come up here and i don't see that then moving forward it's like i trust myself i trust that this is going to go the way that it needs to um and then the rabbit sensitive soul strengthening your boundaries and cutting cords um i think as well it's also going to have you see because you may be looking back at maybe connections or time periods and going wow i did not deserve that like i didn't deserve when that happened i can't believe that you moved that way or i didn't deserve um i was i was in that connection and i was settling for much less and I, I deserved way more i can't believe that happened um but it was i see you looking at it like it was the type of person i was going for it was their um i should have raised my price i should have put in like heavier boundaries and not to be like oh i was wrong i wasn't doing x y and z it's more in the sense of like i know like that type of energy and i'm not going to move towards it like in the future or i know the telltale signs that somebody's trying to take or somebody's trying to do x y and z and i'm not going to um i'm not going to let allow that to happen this is the frequency i'm in and i'm going to be drawn to people with that same frequency i'm not going into you know playing the role of like maybe like a savior or um i'm not going to be everybody's healer teacher whatever like that's not my role i'm more than that so i see that kind of shift so it's like i'm love and we're all love let's kind of like share that and i, I see that switch in your brain um so that's what i have for you pile number two i really hope that you enjoyed your reading hit the thumbs up and comment down below if you did i'm sending you guys all of my love i hope you have a beautiful morning afternoon evening whenever you're watching and hopefully i'll see you guys in my next video so thank you guys for watching hey pal three welcome to your reading so we are taking a look at what area of your life is going through a rebirth over the next couple of months so you guys chose the serpentine serpentine crystal i'm gonna start with this deck and then we're gonna move into your oracle card so let's go so pile number three please spirit guides pile number three the serpentine serpentine crystal oh ooh. you've got two cards that just jumped out we have feminine energy and we have abundance pile number three please spirit guides pile number three what area of my pile number three's lives are going through an expansion over the next couple of months we have action and one more card, please, Spirit Guides. What area of my palette with three's lives are going through a rebirth? We have deep sleep. What's interesting here, we have um, space clearing at the back of the deck. What I'm being shown for you guys, that's Luna, by the way. Um, I keep being shown 
you guys thinking back to a specific time period and it's a time period that you would have felt very good uh, but it's a time period where you know you felt very expensive and you felt very light and I feel like I'm being made to think back to it and I'm looking at that time period and I'm almost kind of studying it. Like, what was I doing? That This is Luna. <laughs> Luna's coming to say hi. It's like, what was I doing in that time period that made me feel like that? And I see you looking at that time period. Like, where was my money going? Or like, what was I doing? Was I, did I have more free time? I'm sorry, I've got an alarm going. Um, but yeah, it's like, did I have more free time? Was I in, you know, the gym every day? Was I um, just be, being more like free spirited? Was I going out a lot more? Was I, um, was I like making like X amount of money? Was I in work? Was I do like whatever it was, like what was I doing? And there's a reference of you guys like looking at that time period and it's almost like taking what you need. Oh, okay. Because now I'm being taken to a different... Right, this is how... I, I literally feel like I've got a um, a trolley. Like, you know, that you have in... I don't know if you call them trolleys everywhere else. When you go into, like, a supermarket and stuff. I'm sure people, some people just call it, like, a shopping cart. I call it trolleys in the UK. But I see you with, like, a trolley, shopping cart, whatever you call it. And it's almost like I'm walking through aisles of my life where I know I felt good. And I see you taking on every aisle um an ingredient which is like from every time period that you felt good it's like taking an ingredient and i see you putting it in the shopping cart and it's like you're making a recipe to create abundance or to create a brighter energy um where you're currently at i hope that makes sense or a more expansive energy i'm so sorry for <laughs> the noise it's luna um but yeah because i feel like you guys specifically especially with the serpentine serpentine crystal i feel like you guys one thing I will say is you guys are coming to the end of a karmic cycle. I can see that really strongly in your energy, especially with the moon card and the phases of the moon. Like, I feel like there's a, definitely a shift that's been happening. And I feel like for you guys specifically, I feel like um, you've been dealing with, again, the moon, the deep night, and it talks about the deep sleep, heavier emotions, heavier feelings, uh, looking things in the eye that maybe you repressed before. I see you guys really, it's like I'm looking at my demons in the eye, I'm looking at more painful situations so I can purge them out, clear them out. Maybe you've gone through a dark night of the soul or maybe you've just been transforming, transmuting in that area of life in regards to your subconscious, getting rid of the old, untangling yourselves from wounds. But I see that chapter coming to the to an end. Now that doesn't mean, because I feel like sometimes people might take things out of context, that doesn't mean you're never going to heal again and that's over. Um, but I feel like that phase where you were like super hyper-focused on the darker side and the shadow side and the purging and all of that i feel like that chapter and that hyper focus is done i feel like you've learned what you needed and now it's a case of coming back to a level of balance and i see over the next couple of weeks think of the aisles in a supermarket being time periods in your life i see the shopping cart the trolley i see you walking through and it's like i don't know what i'm even gonna make i don't even know the ingredients that i need but i'm gonna go back through these aisles i'll look at these time periods where things brought me joy things brought me happiness little things that i was doing that was making me feel good and i'm taking that maybe i was in the gym at that time period and that made me feel good when i was moving about or maybe i was you know getting outside in nature and that made me feel good or maybe i had that goal that i was trying to reach and that was just so exciting for me and that made you know that was exciting so let me put that down and it's like all of these things or maybe i was spending more time with my family and it's like all of these little things i'm like popping them in the supermarket like cart or the shopping cart the trolley and it's like i don't know what i'm making but i'm just getting these ingredients here now and then i see you going home popping those ingredients into a bowl popping it in the oven and then it's like it's creating abundance for you it's creating the fruits for you so i see that it's either already been happening or it's going to happen over the next couple of months you're going to be thinking back to or revisiting areas of your life when you felt a million dollars when you felt really good don't look at it like oh i'm being nostalgic and i don't know why or oh i don't want to go back to that time period i don't know why it's there i'm pushing it away it's not necessarily the people in the period and the the you know whatever that time period specifically it's not that 
it's the little things that it really sit with what's coming up and look at the little things that are being presented to you because it's like remember when you did that you love doing that it's making me think of when we come out of like an ego death and we build ourselves back up again and we find those little things that brought us joy that we let go of before for me and i've talked about it a few times like i love makeup and i love perfumes and things like that and when i was you know going through that and i, I didn't i got rid of my perfumes didn't care for them i got rid of most of my makeup didn't, this just didn't mean anything to me and i've always been someone that likes to make things look pretty and look like that and i when I started tapping back into that side of myself and the perfumes and the, the makeup and making things look pretty and like home decor and stuff, like I felt like I'd returned. Like I felt like there was, it was like a rebrand and I felt like brand new and it, it, it lit, lit, lit me up. That's the only way I can describe it. It lit me up and it just, I felt like myself again, but like on heat. And I see you doing little things like that. Um, not just to like it's not just the purpose of like bringing abundance back into your life but it's like tailoring yourself to your own energy again because i feel like there's been a flush or a purge or a transmutation or a literal ego death and i see you tapping back into parts of you that you love and parts of you that um it's like finding new joy from the old and finding a new way of connecting to something from the old. Like, you're probably not going to connect to whatever's coming up in the same ways you did in the past. But you're going to have a new relationship with it. Um, and you're going to see it through a new set of eyes. And it's going to feel more abundant. And that's what I see. Because I see, I keep being taken to, like, six months from now. And the only, like, I'm hearing that song by, uh, I think it's Michael Bublé. And he's like, it's a beautiful day. And I can't stop myself from smiling. It's like this feeling of like abundance and gratitude. And then it's creating more abundance and gratitude. When my email noise made a noise, then it was 844. So you may be seeing 44 a lot or 844. Because the minute it made that noise, the timer said 844. So I thought I'd just let you know. Um, but yeah, that's what I see for you guys. So I see somewhat of a trip down memory lane but it's to take these aspects like I love doing that or I love doing those activities or I loved being like by the beach or I love doing those things let me do more of it and bringing it into your now so you can bring that light back into your life because I know sometimes when we do a big purge or we go through a dark night of the soul we feel it's not that we still feel like frustrated and low we just kind of feel like we flatlined a little bit like we've just dealt with some heavy emotions and we've really been in that energy and we just feel a bit like mm, you know like uh like i don't know oh like that, that it's it's just kind of like i don't feel tremendous joy i don't feel you know light but i don't necessarily feel too dark anymore i just kind of feel mm. and that's what i see i feel like there's a purpose to the next couple of months and i see you um reviving a lot of beautiful aspects of yourself uh which is then gonna have you Luna is determined to cause chaos uh, for my readings today. Um, but yeah, I feel like it's happening. Oh, what was I saying? That's completely taken me off now. But I just feel like it's it's creating more abundance than in your life because it's like it's happening into new needs and things that you love. And then it's like you're able to tap into that energy of gratitude and happiness. And then you're seeing more areas for gratitude for happiness and all of that i hope that makes sense so that's what i see for you guys i see you getting more in touch with yourself and opening up to not only new aspects of yourself but old aspects of yourself in a new way um and there's like a lot of joy because i see you just feeling like wow i've i really wanted to get here because a lot of times when we do like inner work it's like i'm doing the inner work so i can reach this state of mind and then once we've done the inner work it's like why do i not feel like i'm in that state of mind but we, we have to like make that conscious effort to bring that light in. That's still part of the process, but we forget that. And that's what I see you doing over the next couple of months. Um, but I see a lot of joy. I see you reaching a lot of joy and like happiness this year. I want to say the words this year. I see a lot of joy this year. Pile number three. Pile number three. Please spirit guides pile number three pile number three please spirit guys we have the flamingo a unity heart you are being called to work on collective healing also as well you could have been especially if you've been doing inner work you could have been on your own 
on a bit of an inner journey, being a little bit isolated, you're learning to come out of the cave and now go on a journey of still learning about yourself, but through other people, through other connections, through being out outside and like in the physical. It's some it's either a spiritual journey or just like you've been on your own healing. And like I said, the cycles come to an end. So it's like now what's happening to the lighter aspects again, what's happening to the light aspects of life. And even as well, like, you know, when we talk about spirituality and healing, and I've said this in a reading before, we think of the deeper aspects, we think of the purging and the clearing and whatever, but there's lighter aspects to it that yes, they are just lighter aspects. But when you've been doing the heavy, heavy work for some time, that lighter aspects can then bring that light and that joy. So it's almost like, especially if it was like an ego death or something like that, that you've been going through, it's almost like looking at those lighter aspects of spirituality and like just the lighter healing methods, like singing bowls and just being out in nature or just, just meditating, no purpose, just sitting in there and just tapping into that frequency or like, you know, essential oils and just like little things like that like more healing methods like that that's bringing light and peace into your life because there's a reference there as well if you guys can listen I, I want to say singing bowls specifically with your heart space so if you guys can listen to singing bowls for the heart chakra I know there's loads of videos on youtube if you just type in singing bowls heart chakra loads of videos that come up um I feel like that would be really really helpful because it's almost like I'm tuning in a lighter frequency or a more peaceful frequency if that makes sense i see you doing that um but you're coming up to the shallow end for like respite and to have fun and paddle in the water you know dip your feet in and out and just play you know you've, you've been in the trenches it's time to like play at the top and just have a little beach day <laughs> you know have fun like that's the vibe honestly that's where you're that's where you're headed to right now that's kind of like the focus and i feel like you're gonna learn so much more because you now have a different set of eyes having been down in the trenches um and you're gonna feel what you felt before up on the surface but in a deeper way in a more beautiful way in a more light-hearted way as well it's gonna taste richer now that you know the ingredients <laughs> you know what i mean um yeah you know when you know what ingredients are in a food so then you can kind of taste it. like oh i could taste the sugar i can taste the cinnamon i can taste the cumin like it's kind of like that like i really put an effort for this and now i i feel really good because i know the effort that i put into it like you know when you go to the gym and you get the result that you want and you're like oh like i really put an effort and this makes me feel really good oh you put all your energy into that business and then it starts booming and it's like i know the work i did and i know the flavor that went into it and it's like wow like it feels just that better um that is um how it, it's being shown to me um you have the eagle ancestral healing your ancestors are holding space for you to heal your past one more card please for it guides pile number um three we have swan graceful transformation soften your heart and find your flow yeah and the back of the deck you have polar bear Allow any anxieties and worries to be gen gently released and offered up to be healed. And it's funny that the polar bear was at the back of the deck with the, the um, snow and the ice. Because if you think about it, there's so much things that are buried under the ice. Like in Antarctica and, you know, all these places where you have these big icebergs and stuff. Like there's like frozen like artifacts, like woolly mammoths and all of that. Like they're frozen in time. They're hidden. But when that ice melts and that falls away we're able to see what was beneath it we're, we're able to see what was frozen you know a lot of um scientists they find animals and species that they've never seen or whatever because that ice is melted and it's like oh it's been revealed to me so i feel like that's what's been happening i feel like you've been kind of cutting through the ice and really doing especially with the eagle card ancestral healing and then the unity heart i feel like those cards are representing the, the journey that you've just gone on which i really want you guys to put a pat on the back for yourself with like i'm patting you on the back but i want you to pat yourself on the back too because i don't think you realize maybe what you've cleared what you've worked through and i know how hard it is to look our heavy feelings and our wounds in the eye and really be brave enough to feel them and allow that feeling to pass through it can be scary it, it's like you're scared of the unknown as well and it's 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 heavy it's so heavy and i know how it is i know the feeling so i'm i just want to say like i'm very proud because i just see the work and the purging and the clearing that you guys have done um 
I can see it energetically and it takes a lot to do that so I really hope that you're proud of yourselves too and the work that you've done on yourselves because I feel like there's so much work and clearing for that cycle to be like okay wrap it up we've done it and now we're coming to the surface and now we're gonna play and I, I know the relief when you enter that phase of your life and you're like oh wow like the lighter hearted things I know the relief you know um and that's what I see Luna knows the relief too <laughs> um but like I just see you um I see you float into the surface and I it's time to play and sandcastles and you know what I mean enjoy yourself and Luna agrees um but with graceful transformation the swan card soften your heart and find your flow um yeah it's like the lighter aspects now you know you're tapping into more lighter aspects it's like you're coming home Looney Looney is very excited for you she's super excited for you um but yeah it's like you're coming home and I just see a lot of joy I'm gonna have to keep stroking it now, otherwise she'll meow every time I stop. Um, but I just see a lot of joy for you guys. Um, and a lot of expansion there. So, yeah, pile number three. That is what I have for you guys. I really hope that you enjoy your reading, enjoyed your reading. Um, hit the thumbs up and comment down below if you did. I'm sending you guys all of my love. I hope you have a beautiful morning, afternoon, evening, whenever you guys are watching. And hopefully I'll see you guys in my next video. And Luna says bye too. Say bye, Lena. Say bye-bye. Bye. -bye. bye.